What's up, everyone? This is Squigs. We're back with some more Learn Swedish. I believe we're on episode Uwata now, I believe. Yeah, I think it's Uwata, one of my favorites besides Tabua. So, uh, we're gonna go to Grathin 2, which is actually Grun. I forgot to look up that fucking thing. I'm sorry, guys. I know I said I'd look up that letter. I completely forgot to do it, so you get Grun for another episode. Oh, my. Okay. Well, this is certainly green. That's not as green as it could have been. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the way the pipes change are kind of weird in this game. They change every so often to different colors. It's just, like, one pipe tile, but if it's, like, within this block of 16 tiles, for example, it'll be green. And if it's in the next block of 16 tiles, it'll be, uh, yellow and then purple. Well, we can certainly profit on 1-ups here. This is the first time 1-ups have been very, very abundant, and it's actually going to be super useful for me anyways. Because I plan 100% on uh, farming this level afterwards, so I don't have to replay any levels anymore. I always like when, I, when I'm when i in a hack and I find one of the levels has like a whole bunch of 1-ups or like some way to get infinite. The classic infinite 1-up way that people leave in hacks is... God damn, I keep hitting the same part. Is um... One of the Lakitus, or Lakitus rather, that um... God damn that spawns the uh, spinies infinitely, and then you have a place where you can kick a shell back and forth, but you yourself are not hit. So if the Lakut Lakitu, Lakutu, I almost... See, I really can't get that right. Oh, I missed the platform. So if the Lakitu, Lakitu, Lakutu, is in a pipe, particularly, where he doesn't move around the screen, like the... Wow, that was just barely high enough. He'll always... You can usually... You can sometimes, I should say, position yourself in a way where he can't get you and he'll keep throwing the spinies into a pit. And then I just let that idle for a few times. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I've done it in the past in Hacks. You might have seen it before, if those episodes are out by now. Yeah, there is some unreleased episodes of this game that uh, just kind of get backlogged because... God damn it. So yeah, as I was saying, there's a few unreleased episodes of this game where the sound got a little messed up and I still need to figure out how to tweak it properly. I'm not sure if it was one of those. I can only remember one example in particular where I really used that trick. Okay. Uh, that feels about right. Okay, good. Nice. I'm not usually a fan of this big platform. Uh, it's just so slow, but it, this one's not too bad. Not too bad a level. And it felt very green. It is a green platform. <laughs> it's weird how that sprite doesn't disappear. I'm still getting shot and everything. Like, usually sprites, they get, uh... They get evaporated and everything into coins and, and stuff. Oh, let's try... Oh, this is... blue -ah. Blue... blue -ah. Yeah, that sounds right. Well, it certainly is blue -ah. I actually kind of like the palette. It's nice. Um, hmm. Hey, we'll take our blue shell, and we'll figure this out. We probably need this, not the shell, actually. If I had to guess. Oh, we're going into the blue eye. <laughs> this star is very appreciated. Helping us get a nice little uh, kick on this. Oh, okay. Munchers. And fishes. <laughs> the leaping fish. Okay. God damn. This part is kind of tricky to do with this um, trampoline. I'm not sure if I need it. But I'm afraid to get rid of it at this point. Wow, do I hate these jumping fish. <laughs> Holy crap. This is going to be hard. Hmm. I think I'm gonna bring the kick the trampoline for half of it, and then get rid of it for the other half. That sounds good. When I start having to go up and down, for those that don't know, moving up and down while holding an object is much harder. Oh my god. Oh my god. I literally just imprisoned myself in one of the stupidest ways. <laughs> I have to wait here until time runs out. That's pretty funny. 
Well, you got me. That was my own my own stupidity. I can't blame anyone for that. Usually, if you have a trap like this where you can trap people for infinite time in your level, it's bad. But, I mean, that one was really on me. <laughs> I shouldn't have fucked that up. It's not like it was malicious or easy to fall into. Okay. We'll put this... So, as I was saying, yeah, I believe I was saying... Items make you move... The basic point I was going to make is items make you move much faster underwater, going left and right. But they do not make you go faster up and down. Like, as you can see, I'm really zipping along sideways here. You might be able to see it anyways. <laughs> I guess you'll see it in comparison here, because I'm going to get rid of it. Oh my god. Are fireballs my only chance to get through this? They might be. God damn those fishes. Oh, I thought I could beat them if I could do that super paddle up thing where you stack a lot of them and they shoot up. I don't know, actually know how that works, so I was just kind of guessing. There's some glitch where you can go very fast upwards. I think you have to be going around a corner, maybe. Not sure on that. God damn it. <sighs> okay, we'll figure this out. Don't worry, folks. It seems moving nice and slowly is actually a valid strategy. Because they're jumping, like, towards the peak of my head. I just move them up a little bit at a time. It's nerve-wracking as all hell. But, uh, it might be able to be a safe way to kind of push them upwards. Oh my god, please let there be a fish despawner. Oh, right now there's a sprite that scrolled on screen at some point that said, Spawn fish forever. But there's another sprite that says, Please stop spawning fish right now. And I'm really hoping that one comes up. <laughs> All right, we're running out of time. This isn't too bad down here. I can actually... Besides those rogue fish that jump from the other direction... It's not too bad. Oh, shit. Actually, the timing... Damn it! I got greedy. Because I got all nervous running out of time. 50 seconds is a pretty long time, though. 50 Mario World seconds. Okay, we got here with quite quite the amount of uh, supplies. By inching them upwards. See, that's nice. But we're not... Uh, oh, we can't waste too much time. So that's another important thing. We're going to have to balance out with our safety versus time spent type deal. Okay, keep it moving. Down low. Go back up. Okay. No. Oh, jeez. This is hard to maneuver in. That kind of sucks. I really would like to have had... the backup hit for this next area coming up. Where I don't know what's going to happen. At least this part's relatively easy. If I stay low here, this part should be pretty easy, too. Okay. Well, we really need to get moving, because I don't know when this is going to end. Okay. Oh my, alright. I really don't think we're gonna make it. Oh, Jesus is hard. Damn it! <laughs> I have a new theory where I'm gonna save some time by completely skipping getting the star and just trying to shoot out. I think I can make it without hitting too many things. Let's take a little peek with the feather. I know we shouldn't, but we're gonna. Get rid of this springboard, Mario. You don't need it. 
Can we get up? Nope. Not. Oh my god, we've done spawn the fish. As you can see, <laughs> once they spawn, they don't just despawn. They're with us now. They're part of our life. God damn it. That's what you get for cheating, folks. I'm gonna have to do more of them that gain height than that if I want to fucking have any chance at cheating. <laughs> I have a feeling it's not gonna matter in this level anyways. That no matter what... I'm not gonna be able to end the level from up here. Wow, did it! Alright. So you may have noticed by now, Akumi, that when I don't want to do your levels, I just kind of fly over them. And not that I don't want to do them, but if I'm getting frustrated, I can fly over them. A good way to stop this is to put a ceiling. Like, if you're going to put a wall like that, put a ceiling of invisible note blocks over the other area. So if anyone tries to fly up, they just get bounced back down. Works pretty well. Either way, though, I don't know if this is even going to help me. I have a feeling that the goal is going to be underwater under this ceiling of munchers. And I'm not going to be able to get to it anyways. Okay, we made it to the end. And look what it got us, folks. Nothing. Why is there so much lag here? Weird. Yeah, we're pretty much dead now. Oh, that... Okay, so that was the last area. Let's give it an honest shot. We tried to cheat, but we couldn't. Well, folks, I managed to make it pretty damn far with this trampoline this time, which should give us a huge speed boost advantage. Oh my god, I don't know why I dipped below the level there, because it was death. In other areas, oh my god. It was a pain in the ass to get that springboard over there, but as you can see, it was moving much faster. So I think I'm going to try it again. Okay, this time we did one better. We managed to get over here with our fireballs. Which should be... Don't go under the level. Should be incredibly useful. Not only for the fireball ability, which would probably be minimally useful. But for the fact that we can take a hit when we most certainly run into something. Due to these weird controls based on holding an item underwater. They're strangely touchy in some ways, but unresponsive in others. Oh my god, this is making me so nervous. Please be the end. Oh my god, that's not the end. Oh! Thank you for the one-ups. Wait a minute. Where's the goal orb? Where's the goal orb? Oh, man. Is there a sprite problem with the goal orb? Shit. Well, we'll try again, I guess. Oh my god, who would have thought this is the most <laughs> the most dangerous part of the level? Alright, we're almost there once again. We get some pretty good time. Oh my god! Please spawn! Oh, it did spawn! Oh! Alright, we made it. This time we happened to scroll it on screen. When there was no fish there, I <laughs> like how I'm still beating the fish to death after I'm done. So, what happened there is you can only have about 10 sprites on screen most of the time, sometimes even less of that, at any one time, or they're going to start disappearing. So we had like the four fish jump in, six one-ups spawned, and then the goal orb, which is also a sprite, didn't spawn. So the best thing to do, especially if you want to reward a player with so many lives like that for beating the level, is to go into the extended objects um, and put down what's called the kudos moon, those little three up moons. What those do is they're a tile that gives you three one ups instead of a sprite, so it doesn't take up those sprite slots. And if you place them like that, you'll only be able to collect them once the first time you beat the level. However, you can place them directly from map 16 if you want them to come back every time the player beats the level. So yeah, um, that would probably be a better solution for the end there, just so it doesn't um, it doesn't screw up and not spawn the goal orb, basically. But that was really fun otherwise. So um, that's pretty much it for today's episode. Uh, 
yeah, I'm, I'm having a blast with this one. I hope you guys are having fun watching it, and hope you all have a wonderful afternoon, and I hope also to see you next time. Thanks for joining me, friends.